is Kamala Harris the answer to the uh, issue that you see in the Democratic Party where they've left the working class or non-college educated people behind mm-hmm. or is in favor of uh, you know professionals, women, uh, minorities who re- you write in the book that have replaced blue collar workers over time or is she kind of the worst nightmare of that because she's – an ultra kind of cosmopolitan sophisticate. She's changed how she talks now. But compared to when she was running for president in 2019, she was to the she was to the far left, it seemed, of the San Francisco Board of Education, much less the typical Democratic voter. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, it's really more the latter than the former, mm-hmm. that uh, she is more clearly well-designed to appeal to their already existing strategy than and the sort of evolving base of the Democratic Party than she is really designed to bring back the working class. And we see that in the polling results. Basically, right now, you look at non-college or working class voters as a whole, she's probably running about 10 points behind Biden in 2020. But she's running ahead among college-educated, particularly white college-educated voters. So in according to the Catalyst data, which is the best data source, I think, for demographic patterns in previous elections. Uh, Biden lost the working class as a whole by four points in 2020. And that was both because he did roughly as bad as they'd been doing among the white working class, and he also lost quite a bit of support in the non-white working class. So that's really what was keeping the Democrats' nose above water in the working class as a whole was you know, overwhelming support among the non-white working class. That starts to go down, and all of a sudden, it's the Republicans nosing ahead among uh, the working class as a whole. So if he lost him by about four points, she's looking like she's more losing him by 12 or 14 points now. So it could be a, you know, another eight or 10 point decline in the Democrats' margin among working class voters as a whole. So Harris clearly isn't doing the job yet. Maybe we'll see what happens in the election. And, you know, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. I mean, she really is not exactly the perfectly designed candidate to appeal to the, you know, the toiling masses of America. I mean, she really is a good representative of the liberal professional class, even the liberal professional California class. Really progressive, right? Really progressive. I mean, she tries to walk back some things now. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's famously done that either through her campaign or in some of her speeches. But it's really – it does – it's like rhetoric, right? Nobody, yeah. I don't know how seriously re- people really take it. And of course, the Republicans can dredge up a lot of stuff from her past, put right. them in commercials. And, you know, it's kind of like they would really have to be very aggressive in reinventing her, much more aggressive than right. they have been. 